This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. In this episode, we're going to talk about LLDP and LLDP MED configuration. So, LLDP is the standard uh, version of all the proprietary protocols that we used to run. So, FTP, CDP, JDP, etc. Everyone had their own proprietary discovery mechanism and nobody worked together prior to LLDP. So, LLDP gives us the benefit of interoperability across multiple devices, but maybe more importantly, it gives us the benefit of bi-directional communication. So with LLDP MED, we can set parameters on end devices or other networking devices um, and have a, have a bi-directional. So we can have optional TLVs or, or type link values to, to um, set VLANs or QoS priorities or um, you know, for lossless uh, storage, things like that. So there's many, many things we can do with LLDP that we could not do with the standard protocols. Uh, the basics to LLDP is an LLDP run. So just like CDP, FTP, etc., it is an uh, it's just a run command to get the basic um, protocol up and running. And it will start up on all the ports when you do that. So you can disable individual ports if you wish to do that. Uh, but for the most part, it's, it's probably okay unless you're a service provider or a hosting provider or something like that. And you don't want attached devices to see, you know, what operating system you're running or, or, or what uh, type of hardware you're running. Um, so that's the basics of that. And then um, we have multiple options. But just as it sits there, if we do a show LDP neighbor... Currently, I have three neighbors off my device. So here's my local port. So 1 slash 1 slash 11, 1 slash 2 slash 1, 1 slash 2 slash 3. So this one, this one, 1, 1, 11, it's connected actually to my PC running Windows. You can see the chassis ID, the port ID, the port description, if the other side is sending them. Um, this one, 1, 2, 1, here's his Mac, here's his port ID, uh, which is truncated we can't see that but it's 99-0-1 so so it happens to be a vdx in this case uh, and then one slash two slash three uh, is connected to one slash two slash three on a another 7250 via a 10 gig port so we can look at the detail on those um, so there's my Here's my VDX here, 1 slash 2 slash 1 on my side. It's connected to 9901 on the remote end. It's a VDX. There's its system name, description, capabilities. It's a bridge router. It's IP address. Um, in this case, it's it's there's unknown link values, which is, has to do with um, with DCB configuration that, that we don't support on this platform. Uh, and then 123 uh, is connected to a 7250. Um, and we can see, you know, there's a remote port 1 slash 2 slash 3 on the remote side. It's a bridge router. Um, we are connected via a 10 base CX or a twin X cable. Um, the VLAN ID that's being sent to us, the management IP on the remote side, and the VLAN name if you're sending that. So uh, there's several different options you can do under LDP. So you can do LDP and, uh, and what you want to advertise. So um, there is many, many things that you can advertise or you can disable advertisement of to, to uh, the corresponding side. So things like management IP, VLAN name, system name, system description, all those sort of things. So if I wanted to advertise system description, for example, I could say LDP advertise system dash description. Uh, and then exactly what ports you want to do that on, whether it's all or you want to... Uh, you know, select a particular set of ports. Um, I can do something like LDP advertise VLAN name and uh, set it for a specific VLAN. So VLAN 1, for example, ports all. Um, so it's giving me a warning that some of those ports aren't part of the VLAN, so that's fine. Um, so, so you could be very specific on what you do or do not want to advertise via the protocol. Uh, the other important piece is LDP Med. So LDP Med is is 
for end user devices. So it doesn't exist from switch to switch or network device to network device. It's only between your network device, so your switch in this case, to an end device such as a PC, a phone, uh, access point, uh, something like that. So, so primarily this is phones. Um, and so what we can do is we can set a policy and to, to configure information on the other side. So let's say I wanted to, uh, I had a phone connected and I wanted to set a policy on it to say for voice traffic, I want you to, to configure yourself, you the phone, I want you to configure yourself tagged on VLAN 100. I want you to set a class of service on your voice traffic of five. I want to set a DSCP priority of 46. Um, then I can I can do that and have the device configure itself on the fly. So uh, so LDP Med um, and then we create a policy, right? So it's network dash policy application um, and then there is multiple options here. So you could do voice uh, and voice signaling are the two big ones, but you could do soft phone, you could do video conferencing, you could do guest voice. You've got plenty of options there, but in this case, we'll just do voice in this example. Um, we're gonna say tagged, what VLAN you want tagged on that interface for the voice traffic. Uh, the priority, so this is the class of service priority. Uh, five, so we want it in the, in, the uh, in, in Q5. We want to set DSCP uh, to 46 for that traffic. Um, and then what ports you want to set that on. So in this case, we're going to say Ethernet uh, 1 slash 1 slash 8. But you could set it on a range of ports. You could set it on multiple ports there. But we'll just set it on that port. So what that's going to do is going to advertise out to the device connected to port 1 slash 1 slash 8 to say, hey, you need to configure yourself in voice in VLAN 100 for your voice traffic, send that to me tagged with a class of service of five, a DSCP priority of 46. Um, so easy as that. I mean, there are other ways obviously to configure voice phones, but that is an easy way to do it. And it will be consistent because as you move that device around, if you've got that set on multiple ports, it will configure itself to the same no matter where it plugs in. Uh, so that's it. There's multiple other things. Refer to your manual as always. But uh, that is the basics to LLDP. Thanks for joining.